welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video brand new house renovations update video which I'm so excited to be sharing with you the progress that we have made since the last one and yeah they are going to be a bit more regular moving forward because we have lots of more up lots of more lots more updates to come before I take it back to sharing with you with where we last left off in my previous renovation vlog I do have a sponsor for today's video Sprive it's very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video if you've never heard of Sprive before it is an app that you can download completely free of charge it is a mortgage overpayment app which allows you to save money in the long run I've loved using this app it's amazing how much interest you pay over a lifetime of your mortgage and how much you can really save by just putting those a few extra pounds towards it via the Sprive app once you've downloaded it you link your bank account it automatically sets money aside each week based on your spending and with one simple tap you can make overpayments to your lender to essentially pay off your mortgage faster those savings you can put towards your kids future you could put towards I think what we might do is actually put towards future properties and maybe it could be something that I maybe document on my YouTube channel if you guys would be interested in that I do think we would like to once we've done this property invest more together and we will use those savings from Sprive to put towards that setting us up for our future potentially our future kids, who knows? Rife have also very kindly offered five pounds to help start get your account going using the code FREA22. However, this is only active for the next seven days, so you must be quick. I will leave a link to Sprive down below so you can click through, download it today. Thank you so much to Sprive for very kindly working with me on today's video. Now let's throw it back to where I last left off the previous renovation vlog and take it from there. So starting down in the basement, since where we last left off, we have started insulating the whole basement and taken delivery of the plasterboards as well, which have started to be put on the walls. Then I did take a visit to Wix to have a kind of drawer up for some utility cabinets to get a quote. I did go to a couple of other places as well, but this is the only place that I have vlogged. So I just thought I'd get some clips of what I'm kind of after. I am going to buy a stacker system like this one online just because I think it's a genius having a drawer to be able to pull out, pop a basket on and drag your washing out from the um, dryer. I just think it makes sense. They did have a lovely colour called Heritage Sage, which I really liked, but I have, which you'll see later on in this video, I ended up going with Howden's cabinets. Kind of similar, just beat them really on the price point and also a slightly different colour that I went for because as much as I love the sage green, I feel like in the utility in the basement, I wasn't sure if that dark colour is going to work or not. It's not dark, but it's still darker than what we're going to go for from Howden's, which you'll see later on anyway. In terms of back at the house, we have started on building the extension wall. Of course, Tupac is looking on. If you've been watching, he has been our mascot all along. They found him in the basement when they first did the rip out and they are determined to keep him as their team mascot. We've had the shelving kind of built in into the storage room and the cabinet doors as well to just hide all of the electrics wiring fuse box and everything like that utility space in here is what i'm most excited for and um, you can see there where the plasterboards have started lining the walls um, with the insulation behind them then we've got our bathroom in here which i've been kind of doing measurements for for starting to order bits for in there and then finally the gym right we've had some samples delivered this is for the windows in the basement so i'm actually just looking at what we can kind of match closest to what we had put in up here i mean this needs a clean but this is like the inside of the window and it's we went for when we had our windows done we had upvc just trying to get the lighting better upvc but it's called white ash so it's got a wood grain effect can you see how this sample has a wood grain effect um and it's also just an off-white it's an ever so slightly warmer warmer white so that's a pretty good match actually so this is vika vika um in white oh nice kind of like sage green that one that one's lovely actually what color is that pebble gray that's lovely we've also had some more samples i'm going to share with you what we've had including tiles for the bathroom downstairs what else have we had so the brick the brick the tile that we've had done in my main bathroom i was planning on just using that again 
Good job. Oh, let's keep this closed. Gotta keep that door closed now because the builders are basically in the house. They've come up from the basement and they, um, they're basically out in the corridor. <laughs> um, anyway, Mandarin Stone is where we got our tiles from in my bathroom, the main bathroom. It's in the Casa Grande, which they still have, but it's in the color ivory, which they no longer have. And we knew that when we were buying them because they were end of line, really good price point quite a bit cheaper than what the kind of comparative is which is a shame but down in that basement we're just gonna sh um we're just gonna tile the shower area and floor so it's not the entire bathroom that's getting tiled we'll just paint the rest of it so i got these samples from mandarin stone for the new tiles that'll be in there this one is called fusion white um and i actually ruled that one out straight away because it's quite a cool toned quite a bright white Classic Cavendish. Oh, in fact, I'll show you whilst I've shown you the Fusion White. They also have a Fusion Sand. This one is, in comparison, really nice. This one's just slightly more expensive than what they have called the Cavendish range. And this is the Cavendish in Buff, which is very similar to the one that we've already got. So if you're after a tile similar to the one I have in my bathroom, Cavendish Buff porcelain tiles and then this is the cavendish cream which i think we're going to go for down in the basement I'm, I'm just concerned with no natural light in there um and this one is quite dark well as in the one that we've chosen in our main bath can look quite dark without the lights on or anything and obviously we're always going to have the lights on whilst we're down there but i'm going for quite light and bright we've got dark flooring throughout so in fact i've just thought as well we were going to have the wooden floor running throughout the entire downstairs so i need to decide whether or not we're just tiling the shower area or the shower area and the floor which i think i'd prefer yeah well i'm just going to commit to that so cavendish cream is what i've decided i whittled it down to be honest with you when i went into mandarin stone and wilms it was the first one i saw and i was like beautiful i'm having it and it just came in this big 600 by 600 tile which is what we'll go for that size just because i quite like the dramatic big square size of them in my bathroom i think it worked really well down there as well um and yeah it was just sat out and i was like yeah that's the one i already know it. i'll have a quick look around but that's the one and that's actually what happened with the towel that i went for in my bathroom first time we went round to mandarin stone many months ago now it feels so starbucks on the go i feel like my life is fueled by coffee right now um but yeah i just want to show you the windows and the tile updates any other samples of anything oh i have actually had a howden's and like kitchen units design drawn up with wicks as well and i'm just getting some price points for that so once i've got a couple more i'll show you what we're what we're kind of going for down in the utility room so i figured soon as i just mentioned the utility cabinets i'd show you the drawing that we've had mocked up from howden's this is what it's going to look like to the left of the stacked washer and dryer it'll just be a walk through into the corridor and to the right of the units is going to be where the dog wash station is so we're going with fairford dove gray and then back outside as you can see the um, wall for the extension has been continuing to be built our floor level is quite high so even though it's only a single story extension the wall does go up quite high you can see also as well i thought this was for ventilation tom corrected me no it's for where the beams go in for the flooring then we've had the um, ceiling supported in the basement for the staircase to be added then back outside the wall here i just showed you the brick just so you've got an idea of what we're going for it's kind of got a bit of black running through it so we just think it ties quite nicely into the old brick that we've got we've also had some of these um i think they're called trench blocks these dark gray ones to help with um they, they basically help build quicker because they're much bigger and um, they can go into the ground as well then finally we have a staircase that has been added back in so again we can finally have access from inside the house down into the basement which um, is so much more useful for us to be able to go down in the basement and check in on them. And then we've also had some concrete poured to underneath what will be the flooring in the extension. And that was to prevent any kind of weeds going through to help prevent mold. So yeah, it was just like a thin layer of concrete that's 
poured. Then back inside the house, the old kind of stair um, banister has been ripped out and just redone basically and we also took delivery of our flooring so we went for this 100% waterproof flooring from firmfitfloor.com uh, it is pet friendly which is going to be brilliant for down in there with us having the utility space the dog wash the gym so that waterproof floor was so important for us it's called lvt it's like a click system i'll show you guys me laying it because it is going to be like a bit of a diy then back outside we've had yet more blocks being laid more bricks being laid the um, plumbing and the kind of external uh, tubes which you can see the plumbing will be plumbed into for all of the new external drains outside Barney just absolutely loves the attention to be honest with you this little garden setup has been perfect for him he just will happily sit and watch the builders do their thing and just play with his rope toy but then yeah you can see Tom there gave us a little wave that is ground level so as you can tell I had um Tom film me just so you can see exactly where the ground level ends which is pretty much where my eye level is it's quite high up for an extension big day today we're getting our blinds fit oh, why do I keep saying blinds shutters fitted in our master room and also the room upstairs I'm just going to quickly flip me around give you an overview of what's going on with the extension from inside because tipping it down today I will I'm sure head back out there and get some clips once it stops raining but essentially these guys are not working today because um well one the weather but two also they need to get into this room down here now which is fast become a storage space of which it is full to the brim so we need to sort through and organize that today and then clear it out and empty it for them by tomorrow so that they can essentially remove this bay window completely so the way that they're doing it is or the reason behind that is they need to start getting some of the brick because we've asked to retain as much as the brick on this house as possible to be able to build the kind of external walls for the new part of the extension with it so that obviously it's in keeping with the property building site in the garden I think they are going to clear it out at some point this week so that all of this is emptied out I've ordered just like a cheap lawnmower just to keep on top of this area because when it is sunny me and Barney like to go out and sit out there and either have our lunch break um and just have a sit in the grass really watch the builders from the garden and then obviously as we get into summer we want to have barbecues and stuff out there so those guys are back tomorrow the um shutters i have to be quiet tom's on a words call up there shutters are getting fitted in our master bedroom and upstairs today I'll show you kind of like a before and after of what they look like installed. Cannot wait for them. It is nice and bright in here, I will say that, without the shutters, so I feel like it's gonna make it feel a lot darker. And we've got so used to not having shutters, blinds, curtains, or anything, that I do feel like it's gonna be a bit, a bit bizarre with them. But anyway. Um, there are having moved like the furniture and had a good look at these windows there are definitely repairs in this room that we'll need to fix at some point once the full renovations are done with altering the structure of this property i.e underpinning which meant a lot of excavation um, and also the side extension especially when we eventually get around to removing a load of the brick and popping, popping steel in we fully expected that the upstairs renovations that we've spent time and effort on are gonna need altering. So that's why we've not fully finished it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you can see under this windowsill here, this kind of hairline crack that goes along there, we've got quite a few of these, mostly under sills. Look, it's not even focusing because it's so small. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see with the, if it's a bit backlit, but can you see at the top there? So that's the sort of thing that will get filled in, repainted at a later date. It's one of those things that just, even with new builds, houses settle and over time you do need to start like redecorating and repainting. The work that you have done, that's just normal. We can see fully outside here, underneath the old conservatory now. I think they're called block and beam, whereby they um, use that kind of structure to create the floor of what will be the new extension i've also had a load of new bits arrive so i'm going to share with you some bits that we've ordered for downstairs um i've got oh in fact let me flip you around and show you now 
So we've got these from Plum Base in Bramall. It is the Colbert range, which we already have upstairs. If you remember my master bathroom, which is brushed brass and also Tom's with the green tiles. If you remember from the early days of when we renovated upstairs, um, we've gone for the same finish in the bathroom downstairs. So this is, as that image shows, the shower that we've got down there is gonna be on a riser. The quality of this stuff is honestly every, plumber that we've had when I say every plumber the two plumbers that we've had because we've got one that we always work with and then a new one for who the basement guys are working with have just complimented the quality of the Colbrook stuff so yeah we're really impressed with it hence why we wanted to go for it again so this is what will sit on the wall the riser part um I'm just gonna keep it nice and protected now then we've also got a brush brass tap that will sit on the sink we're gonna go for the same sink that we used in Tom's bathroom which is a wall hung sink and then I'm just going to put like a basket underneath it so because of that you do see the what's called the bottle trap underneath the sink so I've also ordered that in brush brass to match the um Colbert set it's all from like I said it's all from plum bay plum, 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 plum base in Bramall that's a tongue twister I'll um leave their information linked below so that you can find them but let me show you the other bits that i've got we've also got the brushed brass click waste all of these once they're installed you'll be able to see them and then as for the utility space we've actually gone for chrome so in there we've got a handheld shower it might be better to show these once they're installed but this is the name of it wall outlet handset and hose in the chrome from colbrook so it's basically like a pencil style handle i can show you this that's what it looks like and that just kind of sits on the wall with the hose part into the wall and then the valve on the to the side of it so we were just figuring it out this morning with the plumber where we're going to position that um, so that is the shower that we've gone for down in the utility space with the dog wash station We've also got I'm just having a look here. So this is exciting I'm thinking of getting the units for the utility room from Howden's and they include the well They provide the Belfast sink, but I decided to go for a Colebrook tap as well um, and yeah, so we have now a kitchen mixer tap for that Belfast sink which I honestly cannot wait for the utility room to be done so this is what the utility tap will look like like i said we've gone for chrome in there one thing i am unsure on what to do though is we're thinking about either just having the electrician install white sockets and switches down there for us to decide at a later date if we want to switch them to antique brass to match the rest of the house um, or just go ahead, bite the bullet and just do that anyway. I am also like unsure what to do in that instance with the utility space, because obviously we'll have double sockets on the work surfaces in the utility. And the utility that we're going for, I think it's called Fairford Dove Grey with silver or like chrome knobs, door knobs, and the chrome kitchen sink tap and waste in the Belfast sink and then the dog wash handheld shower is going to be chrome so I don't know what to do in terms of like I think it will look odd to have then antique brass sockets and switches in that room so is it fairly normal to have maybe one room that has chrome to not have them and just have either white or chrome or nickel or something different to the antique brass is that normal to do that or will that look silly to not have it all matching? I mean, Tom said just go for all matching, get antique brass, but I just, I think it's really gonna bug me on the utility worktop in particular, where we have two double sockets and they'll be in brush brass, right against the silver chrome. I, it's a hard one because we've not really gone for chrome anywhere else other than in our spare ensuite bathroom. This is me having to like start organizing out that back room. It's gonna be chaotic, but we've got to get it done today, haven't we? You're gonna be my helping buddy, my helping paw, my helping hand. Oh, thank you for giving me your helping hand. Oh, two hands. <laughs> you seen that TikTok whereby you give your dog pretend treats. Oh, what's this, bunny? Oh, is that nice? Oh. Is that nice? 
right anyway um is there anything else i need to show you i mean i could show you i suppose the online shopping that i've been doing seeing as though we've been ordering a lot this week for the basement especially oh i've got an appointment actually with the surface collection i could bring you guys with me to that i'm looking at some quartz worktop for down in the utility and because we only need a small space i'm thinking about just getting like an off cut we're gonna have barney's food down there feed him down there wash him down there with the dog wash station so after every walk we'll, we'll use that back door all the time more so than we'll ever probably use the front door and um you know wash him off dry him down there and then come up inside the house so with the work surfaces constantly having like washing on wash load off baskets all sorts i just feel like it might be better to have a better quality worktop and we don't need much so like i said who knows we might get a good deal we'll see but that's tomorrow that i'm gonna go there i've ordered what else have i ordered i've ordered a toilet i've ordered a shower tray we've had to because we're obviously in the basement the bathroom unlike upstairs whereby we've had the myra flight level trays which i love and they're like kind of seamless to the floor all the pipe work was in the floor because we ripped up obviously all the carpets and everything put it within the floorboards put the floorboards back on top whereas because we have a solid concrete floor in the basement the pipe work obviously obviously all has to like sit on top of the concrete so um for that reason the shower has to be on legs and just kind of boxed in a little bit so rather than set as a walk-in shower you've kind of got to step up into the shower which isn't you know it's not the worst thing in the world the the finish of it being flush to the floor is obviously a preferred choice but it's impossible on a concrete floor so um yeah that is what i've ordered for the shower in there I've gone for a white waist as well to to not clash with the brush brass tiles i've ordered tiles i've gone for cavendish cream from mandarin stone and we also have the towels that I have left over from my bathroom, we do have a box or two outside that I think might be enough for building or finishing off the dog wash area with. So that would be good if we if we have enough for that. I have found a shower screen that I like the look of, but I'm not going to order that just yet because it arrives in a few days and obviously we're a while off needing that. I don't want a big sheet of glass just chilling. Obviously towels can wait. Oh, builders are shining me. Sorry about that. So I was just um, gonna show you as well. I forgot the other bits that I ordered for the doors, which are here. Doors are here. So we've had to order fire doors for downstairs. And then, so we've got three. That's the bathroom door, because the bathroom door's narrower. These two are into the storage room and into the gym. And then the door up here, that's gonna be into the house, can, it doesn't have to be a fire door. So we'll order that at a later date. We've gone for four panels, even though it says we've only got two panels, they didn't have the two panel version in the fire door in the sizes that we need. So I still think the four panel is nice. It's kind of like the more original style anyway. But yeah, and for the doors, I've ordered all the hinges and everything. So they, and the locks, so they are here. See what you think to these tom and these are the radiator valves for downstairs so the door handles i can't remember where i got these from now door handle company i think it's called it's where do you remember when i ordered these first off and they were actually draw pulls for upstairs i had to reorder them um but i've gone for like a, a cast iron distressed knob oh, my word. what oh, oh no these aren't farmhouse these are like cast iron i will do i did do edwardian style like old and then the lock as well that i've gone for um and the hinges are all black as well that's everything that i think we've got so far got more to arrive very soon um we're having a big debate in this household on whether or not we go smart or traditional smart technology tom favors i prefer the look of like the traditional brass antique brass valves not traditional brass they are tom you just don't understand
back outside for some more updates. We have had the flooring starting to go in. These beams will be what will be the floor for the new extension. Then down in the basement, more boarding has been done, more um, walls being lined. And even in the gym, our first wall has been plastered, which is so exciting. I think as soon as the full basement is plastered, it makes a big difference. We also had some patches put in just for support for where we're going to have the wall hung radiators and um, just for extra support really to be able to have the weight bearing on that wall. Back upstairs, I want to show you a bit of a before because as you'll see in these next clips, we've had shutters fitted. This one's curled up fast, well, not fast asleep, <laughs> just watching on from the side, but I'm making good progress with that back room, just kind of clearing it out, organizing into piles and sorting through stuff. But it has been, let me see, four hours i think roughly um with a lunch break included with the guys fitting the shutters that we now have which is so exciting let me flip you around and show you so now as you come up the stairs we are greeted with a cozy room and no longer neighbors looking in which is just so much better of course as you can imagine the privacy just wasn't there at all so um they've been really really helpful as well with this being a period property sorry if you can hear the traffic outside i've left the windows open but they've been really helpful with it being a period property they actually did a couple of doors down as well and they said it was the same issue in theirs whereby all the window sills you probably wouldn't notice if i don't point it out but Nothing's level, nothing's equal. So what they've done is they've fit the shutters to be sort of level. So to the eye, it looks symmetrical. It looks aesthetically pleasing. It looks really nice. However, if you actually see, hmm, which bit should I show you? Okay, in fact, I'll show you up here. So where I was talking about the little crack in that. Obviously, the gap at the very top above the shutters there is minimal, whereas the gap above the shutters here is a lot bigger space so they basically fill it with an extra kind of piece of material which just allows it to look even because obviously without that material there'd be a gap there so yeah anyway it just looks so much better i'm so pleased and then the ones that we've gone for are on a rod which just allows you to close them and open them and I've also divided it, with, I think they call it a secret split, whereby you can, you could just have one full run of shutters, but I've had the divide in the middle where our window naturally divides to open, and then either side a rod just to be able to open and close them. Otherwise, if you didn't have this secret split type thing, this panel wouldn't be here and it'd just be shutters the whole way up. But I quite like the look. It's, I feel like it's a bit more natural in keeping with our windows in having that little divide. And more than anything, what I think I'll do is end up having the bottom ones open as much as they are and then the top ones open all the way so you can see all of the light coming in. They are called jola blinds j-o-l-a blinds and it was from recommendation from a lot of you guys that have said in if you're manchester based to try jola blinds and we did and i'm very very happy with the service we are going to have the same guys come back probably to do the front bay window downstairs because obviously that will still need to be done and now i'm going to carry on dusting cleaning organizing this back room and just getting on with general house stuff. I've come to a place called The Surface Collection. It's a company that do sort of marble quartz um, type work surfaces. So I'm gonna have a look for our utility. Uh, potentially may see what they have for future kitchen as well, but because we are, I'm not like, I've not even thought about kitchen cabinets or anything yet or kitchen layout really. We've got rough idea, but um, that's gonna wait but i just want to see a little inspo for what's to come in the future I've got the measurements with me hopefully fingers crossed my friend actually used to work for this company she did say that sometimes they have cutoffs like you know excess product that is maybe from a previous order that i might be able to get a bit cheaper obviously then i'll be more limited in choice so it may just be that i end up getting a 
slab that I like and just having a small section of it. So anyway, let's go have a look. Um, they do have an Instagram page, which is also what I've been stalking. So I've got a couple of pictures of some that they've posted previously that I like the look of. Um, but yeah, it's in Ermiston. It's near the Trafford Centre if you're local to Manchester. So it's there's probably a parking space a lot closer, but I'm such a nervous parker, especially if there's potentially people that are going to watch me. So I ended up coming down a side street and hoping but this is an okay spot but because it, it's a residential area i'm hoping that i'm not going to get told off but anyway let's head on in let's see what they've got the sun is shining i was a bit worried it was going to rain um this morning because it's kind of like an outdoor space i was a bit worried about that but it's fine anyway so i had a look at quartz and marble and granite and I definitely think quartz especially for the utility is the option that we'll end up going for and um, maybe even for the kitchen as well actually because there was a beautiful one when I was heading in that had a lot of like brown running through it and kind of gold which I feel like would tie in when I say gold I'm not talking like gold gold it was just very a warm vein which i feel like would work well with the kind of antique brass hardware and everything but for the utility space with us having chrome in there i feel like um there was a really light but subtle kind of vein running through it that's not like a dramatic dark gray it was very light and kind of I don't know it, it was just lovely it was there was two actually that i like to look of so they're going to have a look for me and see if they've got any off cuts or any kind of um similar off cuts to the ones the the two that i liked i think they're called harissa and Kerr. Kerr oh, wrote it down but anyway yeah i just sent them over the spec of the utility space that we need and they're about a one week wait one to two weeks wait but then you've got to get a fabricator to fit them so but like this is similar to the one that i like the look of just nice and light yeah lovely that one's called montreal silkstone quartz oh and then i'm gonna get a, li a little kind of upstand too uh but yeah successful appointment but now i'm just gonna wait for the price point so we'll see we'll see what i end up going for so some final updates for with the extension we've had this area excavated and dug out for where the stairs are going to be some scaffolding put up and starting to shape take more shape as a frame as a structure for the property for the front and the back as well and you'll be able to see as well we've had some of the flooring laid for where the patio will be as well so it's starting to feel very real we've even had the back bay window removed now which honestly looked a mess anyway with the smashed window and the expanding foam it was all a bit of a mess so i'm actually quite glad that's gone it does mean that our back room is very dark because we don't have lighting in there we do have a sockets working but no lights it's a bit dark and dingy but everything that's in here is just storage that will probably be moved down into the basement once it's done you know christmas decorations things like that suitcases so yeah that is just a very practical room for now and then back outside you'll be able to see the kind of blocks here which form the patio i cannot wait for the day that we can have the doors open sit out on that patio and have our morning coffee i cannot wait so there we have it. We are now up to date with where we are currently. We are progressing, we're moving forward quite swiftly, I think anyway. I mean, sometimes it does feel a little slower, but in the big grand scheme of things, I do think we are moving forward fairly quickly and therefore more renovation vlogs to come. And also if you wanna keep up to date in real time, then you can head over to my Instagram account at Freya Harrington Home, where you can follow along the renovation journey. Thank you again to Spry for very kindly working with me on today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of that code Freya22, which once you have downloaded the app for free today via the link in my description box, you will get five pounds to help start get your account going. Let's all be mortgage free sooner together. Thank you to them for working with me and I hope to see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.